Welcome to this video. Today I will be doing a test with the new Windows Defender Security Center. I have it open here on the screen, or in other words, Windows Defender. The specific test that I will be running is I will be sending an infected email to myself, and then I will be scanning my email with Windows Defender to see if it does or does not pick it up. Now let me just say something right off the bat. The best antivirus program on the planet is you, the user. Nothing beats education. If you educate yourself, you can avoid pretty much any threat that's out there. However, we do want to know which antivirus programs are being the most effective. And so in the past, Windows Defender has not done well in these tests. So we're going to go ahead and run this and see if it does or does not pick up the threat. Now, one thing I do want to point out is here on my screen, you'll notice I have automatic sample submission turned off but I do have cloud-based uh, cloud protection and real-time protection turned on. Also, before we run the scan, we're also going to check for updates, like we should always do with any antivirus or anti-malware uh, program. So I'm going to go ahead and check now, just make sure that it's up to date. And then we will go ahead and run the scan. All right, the scan has completed. Um, we can see that it did detect a threat. We're just going to click on See Threat Details. And right here is the result that it found. You can see that it's listed it at severe, which is accurate. And we're just going to leave it on remove. We'll go ahead and click on start action. And now we can see that the threat is gone. Now I've run some past scans, which is why this uh, option for remove all is also showing up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that as well. Now that the threat has been removed, we are going to restart the computer. So we're going to go ahead and do that uh, right now. Now, after I restarted the computer, I decided to install the free version of Panda Antivirus um, because out of the free options, I find that Panda tends to score best on this test, at least in my own personal testing. And so I decided to scan the computer with Panda just to see if Windows Defender did miss or leave anything behind. And you can see that it did leave something behind. Now, you'll also notice that the number of items that were scanned is much higher on Panda than it was on Windows Defender. Let me be clear, I ran the exact same type of scan on both programs. Panda chose on its own to scan more uh, items and so that may have been why it found something that Windows Defender did not. When I open up the detail report we can see right here what was found. It looks like it's a Trojan and so we're going to go ahead and remove this one as well. Now that Panda has quarantined and removed the threat I'm going to restart the computer here in just a moment. One thing I do want to point out though is if you open up Windows Defender while you have a different antivirus program running it will give you a message letting you know that you're using a different provider. However, if we open it up here underneath Windows Defender Antivirus Options, you can set it to run a periodic scan if you wanted to. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close Windows Defender, and we're going to go ahead and restart the computer. So just to be thorough, I did remove Panda and then install Avast and then also scan my email just to make sure nothing else was missed. And you can see that Avast came back uh, negative. So basically, long story short, Windows Defender is improving. They are getting better. Do they have room for improvement? Yes. And so at the end of the day, like I said earlier, the best antivirus is yourself and education, but again, Windows Defender is improving and it is becoming a better antivirus.